she just sings from her heart and her soul. I love her music, but her voice has always been one of Kanye's favorite voices ever. And so when she's singing, she literally sings from her heart and soul in the middle of Sunday service. And I love standing next to her, and then I'll record on my phone Sunday service, and it kind of like sounds like it's me singing the whole song along. Yeah, her energy, she is the best. most easy to attune to Katy Perry and Pink, um, Kesha, like these are all girls who I just find re it really easy to be around. Hey guys, the whole time it's just been me, <laughs> Katy Perry. <laughs> and after the Grammys last year, I was at, I ended up at a, well thank you to my pop star concierge Katy Perry, um, who has been like, ca like hand holding me throughout the process of how to be a pop star um, she ha said we're going to Sam Smith's after party I was like okay and she was like I'll put your name on the list and I was like thanks miss Sia is one of my favorite human beings in the whole entire world she's just such an amazing authentic woman and um, I go to her whenever um, you know I need an ally or a friend or a shoulder to lean on and she's always there for me Do you feel like you have to censor yourself a little bit because censor? everyone's watching? Because well, I do. Well, no, I'm, but you I'm know, like, I'm well, thank you. How are you? Honestly, the a lesson, the real lesson is that, like, not that we should censor ourselves, but we should be slow to speak. Anyway, because right. words are super powerful. Yeah. You know? And sometimes they can cut, kill, trigger. And so it's making me be slow to speak and also a listener, an avid listener. Right? That's what I was planning for tonight. Yes, <laughs> I'd love for you to Doing join me in listening. Good listening. Rihanna. Oh yeah, she came over to my house the other night yeah, for the first like? time. Well, I'd never really met her before. At SNL, when she sung Diamonds, I'd gone to watch her sing it. And a really briefly, su super sweet person. And then the other night she came over and listened to half of 25 songs. I played her like for because she's still looking for songs for her new album. And she's very, very nice. I was a nanny for three little boys and one of them has a moustache now <laughs> and the other day I saw I was just like this is so crazy how time flies yeah that's how so old does that crazy. make you feel that's crazy yeah really that made is. me feel old but you don't look old how is that <laughs> Botox Juvederm <laughs> all <Ulthera. laughs> wow. you, you recommend all this <laughs> Moisturizer, <laughs> humidifier, bottled water. <laughs> See ya. 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 Some people didn't like the video, Elastic Heart with Shia and Maddie, and it was amazing. It was such a work of art. Sia apologized for the oh, video. Oh, I did see that. Sia yeah. apologized? Yeah, I guess that people was offended. Who was offended? People. People. Star Sia apologizing for offending people with her latest video. Featuring Shia LaBeouf and 12-year-old Maddie Ziegler from the TV show Dance Moms, dancing in a cage, and many people say their big age gap makes it inappropriate and hard to watch. Well, I care about One Million Bullets I care about, um, and that one was fun because I kind of wrote it on the road with my husband when we were on our way to meet his parents in Georgia. And then he helped me write the like turnaround bit. Like, so it's, it's cool because I've never really collaborated with a partner before, so that was fun. And, um, and then uh, I like Bird Set Free because it makes me feel good. It makes me sing, like makes me just feel like I'm a kid in a car with a window with the top down or something. And then I like Footprints because I don't know why, it just feels like uplifting, I guess. And Cheap Thrills I think is really fun. 
because it, it puts me in a good mood. You know, that has got me through so many running sessions. When I was Aww. doing half marathons and these ridiculous oh, obstacle wow. races you do, I'm running along with my daughter and with, my, with our friends and we just all have our arms in the air and you're singing that song and I tell you, it makes you run faster, oh, it makes you run harder, so it makes glad. you get you over the finishing line. Oh, I'm so glad. So when, has your relationship with it changed at yes, all? Yes, it has. It changed when, well, two, two times it changed. Once when it afforded me the ability to buy a house, then <laughs> it's hard to stay mad at that kind of song. Like when I was like, oh, that's diluted my credibility, it's cheesy. And then I was like, well, actually, I'm quite grateful to it because now for the first time ever I can afford a house. And then secondly, it was when I saw kids talking about it, um, this choir called PS22 um, sang it, a kids' choir, and then afterwards they interviewed the kids about the song and there was a couple of kids on there who said that they had been, I might cry, that they had been bullied and um, that it made them feel strong and that made them feel like they could get through the day. And I was just like, it was quite heartbreaking. Yeah. Um, loud, not saying much. I didn't realise that until literally that moment I was like, oh. can tell me what not to do and what I can't do. Titania means that no one can bring me down and I am basically indestructible. I'm strong. The bullets are words and the words can't hurt you. Let it bounce right off you. Like, let it not affect you. They're just telling you mean things but you don't hear it. I'm my own person so I don't really care. Like I do things for myself. People try to bully me. I'm titanium. I don't let I don't let anybody stop me from doing what I want to. I don't let anybody stop me from following my dreams. So what does it mean to be titanium? I don't really know. <laughs> I just like the song. Good answer. And like Beyonce is just like the sweetest person in the world. What is she? Like, gentle and sweet. She's so regal. It's really like working with royalty. Like she's so regal and poised and kind and considered. And she knew I was in the program, and they would have wine with dinner. And one night, she she just sort of pointed to a bottle of like alcohol-free wine that she had had someone go out and source for me because she felt bad that they were all drinking and that I was on the water. Like being a part-time pop star is like pretty fun. Like I do get to try wow. on a lot of shoes and sometimes keep them. Um, but it's just like any other job to a degree. And for me, I just flew on a plane and came here and then I get to the trailer and I sit and I watch my Louis Theroux documentaries and, and I take a beta blocker an hour before I'm going to go on so I don't get too nervous. Seriously? Mm -hmm. And then I climb up a big ladder and on top of a box and then I sing and then I get down off the ladder and I take some photos with some celebrity judges. It's the job. And then I get back into my car and drive back to my hotel room and try and sleep even though in my world it's like midday uh, on the other side of the world. Yeah. Um, it's bedtime now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm <Yeah>. jealous. <laughs> what do you want for your birthday? <laughs> David Blaine. <laughs> I'd love you to tell me the truth. <laughs> I've got a checklist here of people. I'm just going to give you some names, okay? Should we start with...
<laughs> never do that to you. But anyway, so. <laughs> but I did ask you, I said, would you. That can happen. That can happen, of course. Do it. Uh, then please. <laughs> Take care. Take care. Got it, got it. Together.